This lesson describes the use of the selection, subselection, and lasso tools, and demonstrates a few common scenarios for use of this set of tools. So here we have a file open. It's called selections.fla. And this file is a simple stage with a number of rectangle objects spread out across the stage. And this is going to help us demonstrate the different selection tools in Flash Professional CS6. So over in the toolbar, I have the selection tool selected. And using the selection tool, I can click upon an object. And we can see here that this particular object contains both fill and stroke. Let's zoom in a little bit. So my fill is this orange part and the stroke is this white part around it. We can see in the Properties Inspector that I don't actually have the stroke selected. I only have the fill selected right now. The same thing will happen if I hover over the actual stroke. We can see that the cursor gets a little stroke symbol right next to it. And if I click right now, I actually was able to choose that particular path. So this shows up as a shape and I have stroke selected, but not fill. So there are a number of ways to actually select both fill and stroke in a shape like this. One way is to click and drag a selection rectangle around the entire object. So now we can see that everything is selected. Our fill and each particular path of our stroke, everything. In our Properties Inspector, we can also see that both of these are selected. And I can go through and make adjustments to these colors if I want to. With the Selection tool, I can also modify the way that some of these strokes appear. Now see again how when I hover over the stroke, it changes that cursor to a little bent line. If I click and drag, I'm actually able to modify that particular path. And I can do that to any of these strokes. So what if I want to select more than one object at a time? To do that, I can do a shift click. So if I click on one of these, and then I hold shift down, I can actually click on others and add them to my selection. I can also draw a selection rectangle around multiple objects at once to select them all. This is very similar to what can be done with the lasso tool. So let's go over to the lasso tool right now. With the lasso tool selected, I can go ahead and draw freeform shape selections around a number of these objects. So let's say I want to select both this object and this object right here. If I were to use the normal selection tool and drag a selection rectangle, it would select all four of these objects. Yet with the lasso selection tool, I can draw a freeform selection around those and only select the two specific objects that I want to. We can even go down here and turn on polygon mode. And polygon mode is going to allow us to actually click and drag a selection in straight lines instead of doing the sort of more freeform selections that we just demonstrated. So now I have all three of those objects selected. The last tool I want to talk about is the subselection tool. Subselection tool is going to work much differently from the selection tool. So for instance, if I click on any of these objects, we're not getting anything. If I drag a selection rectangle around one, however, we can see that all of the different anchor points will actually be selected. So let's zoom in a bit here. So if I click off of here, the selection will go away, but I'm actually able to make selections that are very specific here. Any of the anchor points are going to by default show up as little white squares, but any that I have selected 
will actually show up as a little green square. And I'm able to move the different selection points that I click upon with the subselection tool. And doing this, I can tweak my shapes by changing their anchor points, which by default is going to change their paths and allow me to create entirely new shapes out of that. So this has been an overview of both the selection, subselection, and lasso tools within Flash Professional CS6.